G'day folks, it's been quite a while so I thought I'd just uh, say a quick hello and uh, let you know what's going on. Um, this is hopefully the first of a few videos I'm going to make um, which uh, record my instrument rating. I've decided to get an instrument rating and um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Well, what I want to do is just to let you know um, the process I'm going to uh, go through, um, a few options that I looked at and uh, the reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing. Well, firstly, why an instrument rating? Um, I've decided to get a full instrument rating, not go the um, private um, IFR route. And the reason is that um, I live in Canberra and we have some pretty interesting weather here. And also we have quite a few uh, approaches on tap. Um, we've got an ILS and, and various other things. So I thought that for me personally, uh, an instrument rating will be better. Uh, also, I, I don't want to be restricted to daylight IFR only. Um, the Aero Club now has some pretty good IFR uh, aircraft on, uh, on rental. So yeah, I wanted to have that sort of wider variety of options available to me. So that's why I've decided to do that. So how am I going to do it? Well, um, a lot of people buy one of these type of um, books. Uh, this, I bought this one, uh, the Bob Tate one, um, just to basically, um, my initial um, uh, strategy was to read this and to sit the IREX. Uh, however, um, I've sort of, on, upon reflection, um, I realised that that's probably not, for me, probably not the best way to do it. Um, a few years ago, I did a master's degree, half of which I did as a resident and the final half uh, as an external. And I found the external part to be pretty hard. So what I've decided to do is do the IREX course uh, that's run um, in, through the West Australian Aviation College at Jandicott. Um, and that's a two-week course that's run and then at the end of it you sit the IRX exam. Now in case it wasn't obvious um, and also for my international viewers the IRX is the instrument rating exam it's the theory component of the instrument rating um, it's the exam from hell <coughs> I don't think that's um, different from any other uh, country's um, ex uh, instrument rating exam it's uh, responsible for global warming deaths of thousands of people and well you know you've heard the drill so um, You've also may have seen Stefan Drury's um, expose on his instrument rating and what he did. Um, he did his own study, got a whole stack of different um, uh, practice exams uh, and, uh, and went through that and, and uh, was successful. <clears throat> and as I said before, I'm gonna take a slightly different approach to that. So hopefully I can get some um, footage of the West Australian Aviation College when I'm over there. Um, why, why WA? Well couple of reasons. First, it's the, um, it's the only one I found on, online. There may be some others. Uh, but second, and, and most importantly to me, is uh, it's where I come from. All my family are over there. Um, so <clears throat> my accommodation is pretty much uh, organised. I'm going to be staying with my brother, um, renting a, a car from one of my family, and, uh, and they're not far from the airport. So um, for me, it's, it's just good value. The course itself is run over two weeks, as I mentioned before. Um, it's Monday to Friday from 6 to 9 p.m. Um, the course cost is $550 in case you're thinking about it. Plus, of course, you've got to add on the cost of airfares, accommodation, all that sort of stuff. Uh, but for me, that's a, a value proposition and that's what I'm going for. Um, after that, I'll be doing my instrument flight training at Camden in New South Wales. Um, there's a couple of schools there that does it. There's Alto Cap and also Curtis Aviation. I haven't decided which one just yet, but I'm going to go up and interview them um, before I actually start flight training, see what they've got, see what their aircraft are like, see what their simulator's like, um, just get a feel for it. And you know what it's like. Um, some, some places are a good fit for you as an individual. Uh, some places aren't. That's not to say that they're bad schools. It's just the right fit for for you and that's what I'm doing as well finding the right fit for me. Um, <clears throat> I now have a whole heap of time on my hands so <laughs> that's why I'm doing this oh, and also of course it, the instrument rating itself to improve myself as a pilot make me safer and also to challenge myself uh, now that I've sold the glass here I just wanted to do other things um, so I'm really looking forward to it to getting into the books again and um, to uh, get some more um, What's the word? I don't want to, this to sound the wrong, but to get some more uh, formality into my flying uh, and also to um, yeah, look at new horizons and to fly in conditions that I'm not used to. So there you go. We'll see how this all pans out. Um, hopefully it will pan out.
plan is to get it done by the August September time frame so I hope you find these videos useful uh, interesting um, and uh, yeah please uh, feel free to comment uh, as we go through so all the best and I'll be posting videos uh, as they occur hope you enjoy them see you later